and then let's just click run calculation and let's observe the change in mobile in place, mobile oil in place. Okay. By the way, I forget to set the control mode for the horizontal well, but let's check it later. All right, so let's, yeah, we can check the, this one, the 3D view. And you see the, the streamline have been created and connecting to the horizontal well. And this is our horizontal well, and it's quite weird looking. Yeah, it's just for exercise purpose. We cannot really like this one. Okay, but yeah, you can just modify the, the, the well, the trajectory later. But yeah, we already have our horizontal well. And you see the streamlines from the injector have been connected to the producer. Okay, and let's check the graphs. Uncheck everything first. Oil rate. All right. So you see, we start from this time step. And then we can achieve oil rate greater than 300 standard meter cube per day. And it declines quite sharply, but then it goes to stabilized condition. We can also check the water production rate. And let's see the table. Still zero. Okay, which is good. Uncheck the water injection rate. That's not necessary for this horizontal well. And if you want to check the total and the pressure as well. Okay, so this is the pressure on equivalent radius and the bottom hole pressure. So it's 50 bottom hole pressure. That's low, as low as 50 PSI. All right. And I think that's, yeah, that's quite all. Everything that I want to show you about the creation of horizontal well. And in the next video, I want to show you the second way, the second approach, the second method to add horizontal well to drill horizontal well. Okay, so that's all. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this video is useful. Thank you so much for watching and see you again in the next T-Navigator videos. Thank you.